Hey everyone, it's Afkevai again and I'm going to do another vlog or vlog on the books I have right now. Johnny Lewis is the mammoth book of cover-ups, the hundred most disturbing conspiracies of all time. Should I say anything more about it? No? Okay. I'm going to do a review on it anyways. So, but the British Royal Family, the BCCI, Bilderberg Group, Black Helicopters, Bohemian Grove, Diana, Princess of Wales, Club of Rome, Council on Foreign Relations as well. I mean, I, I didn't even know they were doing something suspicious. But anyhow, this is going to be interesting. The Deniable Agent Undercover in Afghanistan by Colin Barry. It's about a deniable agent in Afghanistan who was undercover in Afghanistan as well. It's going to be interesting. I still haven't read this and I'm a lawyer already, but yeah, Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. I mean, I've heard that most of the people, okay, not most of the people, but so many people joined the profession because of this book and I haven't read. I mean, I've seen the movie. That counts. Gabriel Garcia Marquez, 100 Years of Solitude, one of the most famous books ever. And I can't wait to read it. And I'm going to soon read it anyways. I mean, the Times has said that his masterpiece and one of the undeniable classics of the century. A Brief History of Time, Stephen Hawking. It's extremely famous anyways, so. I mean, Stephen Hawking, come on. And I'm saying it in a good way. I mean, it's it has to be good. Saadat Hassan Manto's Talq Tar Shiri. Now, this is in Urdu and I've been meaning to read Saadat Hassan Manto because he's one of the most famous authors of this region. He's dark and not even just dark, it's more of uh, controversial and all of those topics and he loves writing about those and I'm someone who loves writing about those as well as well as reading about those because those are the real stories. They are more than romance and everything. They're like all of it in one place. So I have to read this soon and Talq Tursh Shiri. Shiri is sweet. Talq and Tursh are... I get confused between these two, like sour and bitter, so... But it's sour, bitter and sweet. That's a good title. My name is read by Orhan Pamuk. I actually started reading it. It's uh, by a Turkish author and it's talking about the... I can't call it medieval ages, but it's based somewhere around five to six hundred years ago or something like that. Also, it's the winner of the Nobel Prize in Literature 2006, which is the reason I bought it. Because I'm so into it about I'm not. If you had to guess why it's all white, or you would have already guessed that it's not all white, it's that I have done it, is because it's Emil Zola's Nana. It's a naked woman, so. I come from an Eastern family and I just can't leave it open like this. Although no one comes to my room or anything, but like sometimes there are kids around and everything, so. Yeah, you know. And the best part is I was told, I was recommended this by a Belgian friend of mine and it was only after I came back to my home that I looked at the cover. But it was something she recommended and I was like, ah, okay. The World's Greatest Trials by Tim Healy. Should I even say anything about it? As a lawyer, I was just intrigued by all the greatest trials ever. The Confessions of Jean-Jacques Rousseau. I would love to say his name in French, but, but I still can't, or any name for that reason. I was told about another book of his, but I couldn't find that, so I found, uh, found out this one, and I still have to read it. Again, philosophy. The Age of Ideology. It's kind of a textbook thing, or something like that, but it has the basic writings of Kant, Fichte, Schopenhauer, Comte, I'm not really deep into philosophy, so I know them by reputation, but, I, but I've only read work by Marx and Hegel. So knowing more about them was the reason that I got this one. And I still have to read it. Okay, this is one of my favorites. It's called An Elusive Dawn. It's a translation by Mahbub ul Haq of the poems written in Urdu by Faz Ahmad Faz. He's in my top five favorite poets, but I think it's basically just top two favorite poet. He was a revolutionary poet and he's been in prison for a long period as well. He was writing against dictatorship and I love his poetry and the English translations are really good as well. So it's An Elusive Dawn by Mahbub ul Haq.
translated by Mahbubul Haq, the Constitution of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Because, you know, I live in Pakistan. I've read these comic books, but they are still here, so why not just talk about them as well? Pakistan Girl by Hassan Siddiqui and Ali Haider. Pakistan Man by Hassan Siddiqui, the same guy. This came first because you can also guess it from the artwork. Jazba, another comic book, and with really good artwork. And I'm going to review them anyway, so you'll be able to know more about it. The Umruyar comics by Kachi Golia. I love them. I love Umruya. I've read all the comic books anyways, so I'm just showing it for the sake of it. So yeah, these are all the books and comics I have, and I'm going to read some of them. I'm reading some of them, but I'm going to try to read all of them as soon as I can. And YouTube has become my motivation as well for reading more and more. So I'm going to read all of this. Anywho, I just wanted to show you guys the books I have right now here and there are many more I have back home and some I've read, some I haven't and I'm looking forward to reading all of them as well. And that's the reason I brought them here. Keep reading, keep getting more knowledge and try to stay smart in this world of zombies and don't forget to do one act of kindness today.